What does a cat represent from the occult point of view? What is their influence on those who breed them? What should you do in order to ensure the protection of goddess Freya? Well, to love cats, that's the least, and to remember that a cat is a creature that walks alone. And not only in the apartment, but in all the worlds. That is, all the doors remain open for it. If portals, mentioned by a colleague prior, are closed for a person then, for a cat, they are always open. So, for that reason, it has the right to do whatever it wants. You know, traditionally, all people are divided into cat lovers and dog lovers, and psychologically it is considered that dog lovers are those who like to exercise power. And indeed, a dog is the one who unconditionally assumes the authority of its master. It does not require any proof. You don't need to fight it for the rare exception of particularly special dogs. And in general, a dog sees the best the most beloved, the most beautiful friend in its master. And a person who is a dog lover doesn't want to prove to his friend that he is better than everyone else. That is, love should be unconditional. He needs power without difficulties. He prefers to dominate and not to obey. Unlike cat lovers, cat lovers prefer to obey. But since cat lovers don't like simply to obey, they can only obey the most beautiful, something that is truly the best and the most outstanding. And so the cat lovers, the real ones, treat their pets, felines of any gender, as if they were some sort of a god. They are allowed absolutely anything. So now, if you have a cat but you don't let it do whatever it wants, then you're not a cat lover, you're a dog lover. You just have the wrong pet. Because a real cat lover lets his cat do absolutely anything. Well, that also tells us about the personality. He agrees that there is something more beautiful than him, smarter than a human being, something that one can serve without humiliating oneself. And this something is called a cat, or goddess Freya, by choice, or better both, and a cat, and the goddess Freya. That's how you should treat cats. What should a person who breeds them pay attention to? He needs to make sure to treat his cats this way. You are not working for money. You are bringing more beauty and magic to this world. And when you work with cats, with kittens, you should see precisely that. And then you will not insult the goddess, and everything in your life will be very, very well. Do not be confused by this word, to obey. It is not in a bad sense, colleagues. Believe me, it is just a wording. Let's replace obedience with deification. Dog lovers prefer to be deified, and cat lovers deify their pet. I think that such a wording would be less offensive to freedom-loving consciousnesses.